Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and to anyone that's new here. Hi, my name's Christy. I'm a personal stylist that helps women rise to their highest and best selves through style. Now today, we're gonna be taking your old clothes and we're going to be making them feel new again. So we're gonna be doing another Pinterest challenge. We've done quite a few of these on my channel already and I know how much you guys absolutely love them. And I love showing them to you as well. One of the things I love to chat to women about is how much variety and versatility their closets really provide them and that you can make your, your clothing feel completely fresh and modern again just with some little you know experimenting and tweaking and using inspiration in your wardrobe to come up with new outfit possibilities for yourself. So I've got three images as I always do that we're going to toy with and make some new outfit possibilities out of what I already have in my closet. Now the first outfit is actually one that I love. It's got this relaxed sort of elegant feel to it and the woman in picture is one that's wearing a crop or sorry not cropped but Bermuda style uh, shorts and she's got a very monochromatic kind of look. So she's got these beautiful uh, Bermuda shorts and then she's got this sort of slouchy oversized sweater that she's wearing with it and it looks like the sweater almost has like its own scarf but I just love the relaxed elegance of this whole outfit. You can see she really doesn't have much jewelry or that we can tell anyway from the photo. Just a structured bag and a pair of heels. This whole outfit is right up my alley and I actually happen to have very similar items to this but if you don't, if you're recreating things in your closet, don't get hung up on it. It doesn't have to be the same color, it doesn't have to be the same silhouette. Just use what you have as inspiration and see how you can create something that feels authentic to you. So one of the first things that I, I know I have that she's wearing in this photo is a pair of Bermuda shorts. Now, what I love about this, because I've got these ones here, is the pair that I have are this pleather option and it's very similar to her color like this is a camel which I know hers aren't but I just love the the option of pleather or leather you guys know I talk about it all the time that it adds like more grit and edge and a really beautiful texture to any outfit so this is definitely something that we're going to use in the look today so I'm going to put that there now for the sweater that she's wearing for me personally although I love the overall vibe of the outfit I actually don't like how shapeless the sweater is and I personally would never pick up a sweater with a scarf attached to it no knocks to her if that's the case but I wouldn't do the matchy matchy thing like that either in case it is a separate piece so what I'm actually going to grab is a slightly uh, slouchy sweater it was one that I had when I was a different size but I still love it and I like the sort of relaxed feel that it's gotten now that I've shrunk a little bit <laughs> so we're going to use it in this outfit so let me grab it okay so here's the sweater I love it because it's a very like similar like tone from the camels uh, together. So this is more of an oatmeal color, which I really love. So I'm really playing into that sort of autumn warm tone feel. And this one is definitely got a relaxed vibe for me still. Cause like I said, it is becoming a little baggy on me, but I kind of like it. I know that might not be everyone's thing, but this just feels really nice for me. For heels, I'm going to grab a really nice simple pair of nude heels just because I feel like that will keep the look really clean. And I love a good monochromatic look. I just find them so elegant and for her bag while I do have a lot of different structured options I'm personally really crushing lately on just day wear clutches they really appeal to me I like that it adds like a hint or a nod to the evening time but it's still very day wear appropriate so I'm going to grab a slouchy clutch and we're going to use that instead Okay, so here's the clutch I'm going to use. This is the Bottega clutch. There's a million different dupes for this thing. I will leave it linked along with everything else that I can find or I talk about today down below for you guys. But this is the uh, bag that I'm going to use along with the nude heels. And I think I'm going to keep the, the jewelry minimalist like she did as well, or minimal I should say. So I think I'm just gonna put in some like daintier looking earrings and just keep it nice and clean. And yeah, elegant. I thought that was kind of the, the look or vibe I'm going for. So let's try all these goodies on and see how it looks. All right, here is the final look and I absolutely love it. I, I just, I felt really put together, very polished. I love the beautiful elegance that the pleather shorts bring to the look. And I also like the relaxed vibe of the Bottega clutch as well. Overall, this is a major win for me. It's a really simple, elegant outfit and it feels really snuggly and cozy at the same time. And best of all, I could also dress this down with a pair of sneakers. Um, but yeah, love this look. 
really happy with it. Now for look number two, uh, the photo is one with a lot of color, which you guys know I love color. It's so good. It just makes everything feel more playful. It is a little bit more modern in my opinion, and it's just one of those feel good uh, things. So in this case, I actually do not have a fuchsia or hop bright sweater, like hot pink bright sweater, sorry. I also do not have that in a pair of pants. I've got a lighter uh, pink option, but when I was sort of thinking about this, and what I might like in my outfit, I, I didn't really wanna go down the pink route. So again, it just shows you can use the photos as inspiration, but it does not have to be the same thing. So I actually decided to go the opposite route because surprisingly I'm getting a lot of like reds and whatnot in my closet, which is a newer, not, not newer color for me, but I'm not someone that's typically adopted it in larger doses. So actually what came to mind for me in this photo was my red culottes. And I love these because they're so incredibly comfortable. And these are things that you can dress up or down. And I love the sort of relaxed feel that was in this photo. You know, she's sitting sort of relaxed. Um, and then she's got this really hot pink outfit on, which I think is so much fun. Uh, so that was sort of what came to mind for me. I don't know why, but I just, I kind of thought of the red culotte thing, which is what I'm gonna go for. Now, because this outfit is so colorful, I wanted to also pick something that was really colorful because that's what drew me to this outfit was that it was so incredibly playful. So I have a sweater that is not red, but it also is very colorful that I thought would go really well with this look. So let me grab it and I'll show you. Okay guys, bam, <laughs> a lot of color coming at you. And with the red, how much fun is this going to be? I love it. And the thing that would probably get a lot of women caught up is that the colors are obviously not the same. So you've got the orange in the sweater and then you've got almost, yeah, it's pretty close to a fuchsia in the sweater. And most people will probably look at that and think, it's that, like there's no red, I couldn't pair that together. But the intensity of the colors is the same and the undertone is pretty similar to one another. So it works, like you can see looking at this, it works even though it's bright. So I, I get that this will not be for everybody, but looking at this made me very happy and I can't wait to put this outfit combination together. Now, the only thing about her look that did not speak to me, and again, this comes back to you making something your own, were the white, or not white, but sorry, black accents that she had in the outfit. To me, it just looked really harsh. I personally didn't like the aesthetic of that. I am someone that generally speaking just goes for warmer tones and I just like color. So I actually have the perfect shoes to go with the sweater that I'm gonna show you guys. And I'm gonna opt for a neutral bag instead, but in a warmer tone, because that just appeals more to me personally. So let me grab them. Okay, so here's the bag that I'm going to use that I think will be so much fun. Again, really clean, very simple, just nice, easy messenger sort of envelope style bag. I actually like that because the outfit itself is so busy and colorful, so I don't want a bag to compete with it. And I really feel like this warmer tone will actually lend itself really well to the overall look. So I'm just gonna throw this over my shoulder for a sec. And then can we talk about these shoes? How cute are they? I think this will be such a fun, playful accent on the rest of the outfit, especially because of the orange that's in here. And again, not the same, but I think this is gonna be really, really playful. And I love that this has sort of like an eggplant a toe cap on the shoe, something that's not obviously involved in the rest of the outfit, but I think will be a really nice touch and just kind of continues down that road of like playfulness and color, which is what I love so very much. So let's put this outfit together. I'm gonna keep the accessories nice and clean, probably just with some layered necklaces as well, because I think that that will be enough. Because again, the whole outfit's just, it's a lot. <laughs> so let's put it together and see how it looks. Okay, this outfit is a major win for me. I absolutely love all the color. It just makes me so happy to look at. And I am very happy that I chose more minimal necklaces to pair with this outfit. I think it just adds a little simple something without going too over the top, as well as the bag. I like that I chose something that's a warm neutral so that it's not such a harsh contrast like the black that she had used in the photo. I think it just would have been a little too much with this outfit that I paired together. But overall, this is definitely something I would wear. I'm incredibly happy with it and I absolutely love color blocking. So major, major win for me. Okay, now look number three. 
is one that I'm going to tweak again. Uh, but again, it's all that's what style is all about, is just making something your own because you want your own signature on things. So this look is another beautiful monochromatic look. Those beautiful satin dresses or skirts that have been really trending over the past little while. I think they're such a great wardrobe basic nowadays too. And then it's paired with just a really oversized sweater in the photo and some nude sandals. Now, being that we're in Canada, it is not sandal season anymore. <laughs> so sandals are already going to immediately be nixed for me. But I love the mix of texture here. I love that it's elegant. And I love the satin midi skirts. They're just calling my name at the moment. And this is something I've really been enjoying playing with in my closet lately. So rather than actually going the neutral route, because I know we've kind of already done that, my mind instantly went to color again, because I mean, that's just how I roll. So the first thing that I thought of was this skirt. Are you guys, you're going to die over the color. Are you guys ready? Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? This color is just, oh, steals my heart. And it was instantly what I thought of when I looked at this photo. I actually don't even have a midi skirt that's in that sort of champagne color that the photo has. So my mind instantly went to this and I thought, oh my gosh, this is so lovely. But I don't have a sweater this color to do that monochromatic look. So then my mind just started playing and was thinking, well, what kind of color do we want to play with now? This could be really fun. <laughs> So what I was thinking of is playing more in jewel tones and what actually helped me decide what sweater to go with was actually a pair of shoes that caught my eye while I was kind of looking around my closet. So let me grab those first. Okay, so the shoes that sparked my interest were these ones right here. You've probably seen them on my channel quite a few times now, but I love all of the pink, the blue, the chartreuse, the lime green, the black, like everything. And I mean, how perfect does that go with that skirt? It's just gonna look absolutely killer against that skirt <laughs> like right it's gonna look so good so when i thought of this or saw this pump and it sparked my interest i immediately thought of a sweatshirt actually that i have that's not quite the same as this this is a really like neon chartreuse almost but it's a softer softer green and that is actually what i want to pair with the skirt that i think will be a lot of fun so hold on one sec Okay, so here is the infamous green sweatshirt. And I feel like this is practical too, because again, with a lot of us being at home right now, we are wearing a lot of loungewear pieces and sweatshirts definitely are having a moment at the moment. So I actually thought this together would be really lovely. And then incorporating that with the blue, I mean, don't you think that's gonna look so good, guys? It will look so, so good. I just love the shot of color. I think it's really special. And I wanted to make sure that the sweatshirt itself wasn't going to be something that looked like too casual. So I wanted to get something that was going to dress it up a little bit and make it feel a little bit more special and a little bit more elevated rather than just like, yeah, get more casual on that end. So I have been loving this necklace lately. So good, is this not, are you guys not dying? So I kind of thought that this together would be really fun and it would help elevate the sweatshirt a bit and kind of bring it back up to par with the pump and then the silkiness of that uh, that skirt as well. So this actually might be my favorite outfit, I think, out of all of them that we're gonna put together today. So let's try this one on and see how it goes. Another one I absolutely love. I really, really am happy with how this turned out. I just realized I also forgot a bag, so apologies, but I love what this necklace does just to amp it up a little bit. I love that this is a version that makes me feel really good in shots of color, because you guys know I'm such a color lover. And I love that I could also just get some tall boots and I could rock this much more easily in the cool, cooler, sorry, months, along with like a brown belt to kind of tie it in if I wanted to do that. But love, love, love this outfit and will definitely wear in future. And if any of you want any help in your wardrobes, you want to see how I would comb through my closet, how I would shop my closet, how a stylist would guide you in shopping your own closet, don't forget to look into my Jumpstart Your Style program. It is 14 videos, 14 style exercises that you get to watch me go through to help you uncrack the possibilities when it comes to your closet. All the women that have taken this course love it. It's such a game changer with your style. And best of all, it's super affordable as well. It also comes with a really detailed workbook to help you just unlock more possibilities and mindset when it comes to your style. So I'll leave the information for that program down below. And other than that, my angels, I'm sending you guys all the love to the moon and back, and I'll catch you again in the next video. Bye guys.